All right, this is going to be a real quick introduction to Jim Crow and the ideas of Jim Crow laws in the South. Now, to get started, it's very it's first important that we understand what were some things that went on after the Civil War. Now, when we look at some post-Civil War legislation, we're talking about the 13th, 14th, and the 15th Amendments. Now, the 13th Amendment was the most basic of those. The 13th Amendment makes slavery illegal in the United States. Obviously, those are things that are going to be, you know, that, that's in many ways to what the Civil War in some degree boils down to. Now, the 14th Amendment. The 14th Amendment makes all former slaves born in the U.S. citizens of the U.S. and they get equal protection of the law. Now, you'll see that part is you know, kind of bolded, underlined, and et cetera. The reason why that 14th Amendment is not one that it's talked about a ton when it first comes out. But it is something that 14th Amendment, as we move forward, not just with the early Jim Crow unit, as we're going to be talking about here for the next few days, but the idea of civil rights in the United States, that 14th Amendment is going to be a critical amendment because it's something that everything boils down to. Are things providing people equal protection, essentially equal treatment under federal law? And the 15th Amendment is going to grant all African-American males the right to vote. It essentially says that we cannot um, get rid of or disallow, rather, an individual vote to vote based on race. So it's important that we understand that we had those civil war, post-Civil War laws that were essentially going to give the United States a concept of we are getting out of the you know, segregated South, the concept of a ruling class and a slave class in many ways that had existed in the United States you know, since its inception up till after the Civil War. However, we have, when we get into this post-Civil War world, a development of what are called Jim Crow laws. Now, Jim Crow laws are just defined as, quite simply, laws that were going to keep blacks separate from whites. It's segregation laws. It's preventing African Americans from achieving any sort of equal status of, Af of whites. And the reason why we had these laws passed in the post-Civil War South is because African Americans wanted to be put in, or I shouldn't, let me rephrase that. Whites wanted African Americans to be maintaining a subservient position to them in the South. They wanted African Americans kept below them. And the way they were going to keep African Americans below them was to make sure that they did not have the same rights as a white person, be it voting, be it job, housing, et cetera, et cetera. Now, Examples of that on how we see Jim Crow laws come into place is that we have everything maintaining a separate setup here. As you look on the right here, we had you know wash um, wash places for only whites, Coca Cola only for um, white customers, colored waiting rooms. We only wanted white help, only white tenants. Bus seating, there were marriage restrictions, as we're going to come to find out, and voting restrictions. Voting restrictions was such a huge part of this. And that's what we're going to look at here next. When we look at voting restrictions, there are just three different ways that we saw try to – we were trying to keep blacks from becoming part of the United States in terms of a, in terms of a concept of um, how can they express their, their newly franchised right to vote as a result of the 15th Amendment. We had three different ways that we had this. We had a poll tax, a literacy test, and then we also had grandfather clauses, which actually tie into literacy tests. A poll tax was simply an amount of money that an individual had to pay in order to vote. The reason why for most African Americans that this took them out was because most African Americans were dirt poor living in the South. Most of them, in many ways, maintained a slave status. They were simply working for a less than livable wage on the farm where many of them had lived before. So the fact that you couldn't pay a poll tax meant they could not vote. Literacy tests are probably the biggest way, though, that we kept African Americans from voting. If an individual could not provide or prove a specific level of education, they had to pass a literacy test. Now, these literacy tests varied in a bunch of different ways. You had some that we're going to look at that were kind of set up to be a trick, some that were set up to test your knowledge of United States government or United States history. But the simple concept was, could you read? Could you figure out a, uh, a passage and in many ways? Can we trick you in order to failing if you are an African-American? Now, there were a number of very poor, illiterate 
um, whites. In fact, in the South, it was estimated that roughly about 20% of the population um, at the turn of the century was illiterate, whereas that number was much higher for African Americans, looking at about 60% um, that could not read. So the way in which they were getting whites who could not read into vote was they gave them a grandfather clause. Essentially, they said that you can bypass these early restrictions so long as your grandfather could vote. And generally speaking, the cutoff date was the day before the 15th Amendment went into effect for that. So you had a large number of whites that could not read and were very poor that were able to bypass things like poll taxes and literacy tests because their grandfathers did. Whereas Obviously, they're the African Americans before the passage of the 15th Amendment were not able to vote. So that's a real quick introduction to Jim Crow. And again, when we talk about Jim Crow, it's essentially just anything that's going to keep blacks and whites separate. It's anything that's going to keep blacks in a subservient role to white Americans in the South. And how we um, actually play that out is going to be a very, very sad chapter um, of United States history. So that's going to be what we are going to continue to cover uh, with this unit.